Independent review is clearing three Alameda police officers involved in the death of a suspect they were trying to arrest. KPI X5's John Ramos on the latest investigation into the death of Mario Gonzalez. The report was from an independent investigation commissioned by the city to look into what happened on the morning of April 19th of last year. Just coming to check on you, make sure you're okay. Somebody called and said you were uh, maybe not feeling so great. That's how it began, the last encounter of Mario Gonzalez's right. life captured on an officer's body cam. Alameda police had received a call that Gonzalez was in Scout Park acting erratically and talking to himself. Next to him were two liquor bottles in a Walgreens bag, one of them with the store's security cap still on it. Suspecting it was stolen, Officer Eric McKinley questioned Gonzalez, who spoke incoherently, and after several minutes, McKinley and Officer James Fisher, holding Gonzalez's arms behind him, began trying to bring him down to the ground. <laughs> Gonzalez struggled and complained as the two officers held him pinned face down on the ground. The video shows that after about five minutes on the ground, Gonzalez suddenly grows still. The officers notice he is unresponsive and turn him over, determined that he had no pulse, and begin CPR. The report says he was pronounced dead at 11.45 a.m. The coroner's autopsy listed the cause of death as toxic effects of methamphetamine, but a second private autopsy blamed it on restraint asphyxiation. A few days later, family and friends held a vigil demanding justice for Gonzalez's death. And there's video, and it's so explicit, and he was murdered in the same manner as George Floyd. At the vigil, Alameda's mayor promised answers. I'm calling for an independent investigation in addition to the sheriff's office. But that independent investigation, conducted by the Rennie Public Law Group, finds no violations of department policy by officers McKinley and Fisher and another officer, Cameron Leahy, and recommends they be exonerated. However, the report adds that the focus was solely on department policies, and there may still be issues of criminal or civil liability not covered by the investigation. In the East Bay, John Ramos, KPIX 5. The Alameda County District Attorney recently said the officers involved would not face criminal charges.